Hey, what's going on? This is Instructor Mike. You can follow me on Facebook at Mike Brown or Instructor Mike. Follow me on Instagram at Yes Mike Said It. Subscribe to my YouTube page, Instructor Mike. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell for notifications. All right. Holster time. Look, you can never have enough holsters for your firearm or firearms, especially your pistols. Okay. Obviously, that's what we're talking about putting inside of a holster. So, I got asked a question about appendix carry for guys with, that's right, guts. Because typically you see appendix carry for, you know, you wonderful folks with, you know, the skinny and in shape, you know, six pack abs and stuff like that. But I want to let you know that you guys with a gut when you're sitting in the car, you too can appendix carry. You just have to do it a little bit differently. Now, those of you all who follow me, you know, I tend to favor of the pistols that I have. I tend to favor Glock and my smallest one that I find to be most combat effective, especially in dealing with daily threats that's higher capacity and a subcompact is my Glock Model 26. Okay. Now. I just happened to run across, of course, the Galco holster that I've carried previously, and you might have seen a review on that one. If not, I'll go on ahead and do that. Can't recall. But today, we're talking about Black Arch. Black Arch, okay? And this is one holster that I came across. Now, what are some issues you might do with appendix carry when you're talking about a person with a gut? Well, one thing is when you have the actual holster that digs into your pelvis as it's inside of the waistband. You know, okay, standing we might be okay, but when it comes down to sitting, kneeling, moving around, certain certain things like that, that pelvis digging, uh, that holster digging into your pelvis can be rather uncomfortable. But the one thing I find with the Galco holster and with this black arch holster is that one, one is made of Kydex, okay, like the other Galco holster is, but it has a clip Okay, you have screws on the back of here where you can place them on either side. Okay, and so what I tend to do is I don't wear appendix carry on the inside of the waistband. I also carry it on the outside or I carry it on the outside of the waistband. All right. Now, when you insert this holster, of course, we want to assume every firearm, insert this gun into the holster. We want to assume every firearm is loaded, point that firearm in a safe direction and keep our finger off the trigger and outside of the trigger guard until you're ready to shoot. Of course, knowing your backstop, what's before it, what's knowing your threat and what's behind that threat, the backstop and what's in front of it, okay? Those things are also important too, okay? So, when I begin to place this Glock 26 inside of this holster, the first thing that I notice is that it locks right in place. Now, in terms of gun retention from a snatch, mm, not necessarily the best, but that's why you need to make sure that you have your situational awareness up and you always keep your head on a swivel so you can watch and see who comes within close proximity of you. That's the first level of retention. If they can't get close, they can't snatch it, okay? And so what I do is I take this firearm, okay? I want to make sure that since I'm, you know, I'm ambidextrous, but I'm primarily right-handed, okay? And when I sit down, I want to be able to use the hand that's away. Let's just say I'm in a car. The hand that's away from the door, the hand that's closest to me, obviously my right hand, the one that I use the most. And I want to make sure that when I first got this holster, the clip for the belt was on this side. Just get a little, you know, screwdriver, unscrew this and then switch it to the other side. And this clip is pretty durable. In fact, I wore this holster and did a couple of things with it before I even, you know, decided to do a review on it. So I knew what I was talking about and I can judge it accordingly. And so what I tend to do is I'll go on ahead and I'll take this clip and I'll take this holster and I'll just strap it onto or snap it onto my belt, okay? I'm one of the ones where I tend to wear belts all the time. Now, if you don't wear a belt, then I don't know how good it may be for you. You might wanna seek a different option. But this review for this holster is primarily for people who wear belts. Now, I went downstairs to get some Uber Eats, stuff like that, and I actually put this holster on my you know, Pac-Man pants. Some of you all saw, you know, sleepwear or whatever. Uh, did it stay on there? Yeah, it was a little heavy. You know, you didn't have enough support because there wasn't a belt. Obviously, you're talking about not just the holster itself, but the weight of the gun. So that poses an issue. But if you're wearing jogging pants with a strap or some other kind of device that actually has tension that can support the weight of the gun in the holster, that would be my strongest recommendation. And so the one thing that I like about this holster is that Obviously, because of the size of the gun, three inch barrel, you don't have a lot of barrel length, so you're not worried about it digging into your pelvis. Also, it's on the outside of your pants, so it's not digging into your pelvis. Now, there's one thing you'll have to kind of worry about is printing. Me, I don't mind printing, okay? Now, uh, on a sidebar, 
I don't walk around. Let's just say I was walking in the street or walking to the store. I don't walk with it. Appendix carry right here. I'll have my primary sidearm, my Glock Model 19 in the holster where it is. But if I'm sitting in a car, that Glock 19 is right near your seat belt uh, latch, okay? And that's gonna be kind of difficult to get into depending upon the kind of car or truck that you have. So that's why I have my primary option being my Glock 26 and it's right there in appendix carry. So one of the advantages besides the lack of healthiness, if you will, to having a gut is your gut will push that firearm forward just a tad bit, okay? And so when it does that, it actually is an advantage to you because you're able to grab that gun because it's not against your body, it's actually away from it, okay? Of course, with anything, you want to make sure that, you know, when you get the holster, if you decide to get it from Black Arch, you can go to uh, any gun store. The one I got it from was Eagle Sports Range 5900 West 159th Street in Oak Forest. When you sit down, make sure you're at home. No ammunition is in the area. You know that your magazine is empty. You put your magazine inside of the firearm and you actually sit down in a chair and try just some quick draws. You know, whether your technique is a full extension or whether your technique is a center access relock, whatever the case may be, make sure that whatever you're going to do when you deploy that, you try, check out the retention, okay, and try this holster out to see if this holster will work for you while you're sitting down. If you're the kind of person where you don't carry multiple guns and you only carry one and you want to make sure that this is the only firearm you carry and stuff like that and you want to appendix carry it where it does print and you are the type of person where you watch your surroundings and can keep people kind of at distance, then sure, this can be your primary option and not have a firearm on your side. Just take into consideration the fact that this doesn't have a lot of snatch retention. In other words, if a person were to try to grab the grip and that person was not you, could they easily get that gun? Yes, they can, okay? Unlike the other holster that I have here by Safari Land that secures my Glock 19, there is a level of retention right here so no one can just easily grab this gun without engaging the retention or the uh, locking system on this holster, okay? So that's just one of the things you wanna take into consideration. But for a good holster, when you're sitting down in the car and you have your situational awareness up, things like that, or you're on the range and you wanna try it, or even if you wanna wear it, Inside the waistband, try Black Arch. It's a pretty good holster. I like it, okay? You just have to be mindful of the retention issues. All right, I'm out of here. This is Instructor Mike. You've been trained. Follow me on Facebook at Mike Brown or Instructor Mike. Follow me on Instagram at Yes Mike Said It. Subscribe to my YouTube page, Instructor Mike. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell for notifications. Get your freaking butt in the range and take a concealed carry class. It's no one's job to protect you but you. I'll see you.